Alright, testing, 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 testing. Alright, part C, part 229, locomotive safety, uh, title 49 CFR, 229, 129, locomotive horn. Each local, lead locomotive shall have the equipped locomotive horn that they produce the minimum maximum sound of 96 decibels, maximum sound level of 110 decibels at 100 feet forward of the locomotive. In its direction of the travel of the locomotive horn shall be arranged that the conveniently operated with the engine its usual position, duration, operation of locomotive. Each locomotive built on a separate, after September 18, 2006 shall be tested in accordance with the section on sure the horn is sold on such a locomotive in compliance with the paragraph of the A of the section locomotive of the bill on and after September 18, 2006. Um, however, will be tested in accordance with the acceptance of sampling of the scheme and such as there is probability of, um, of a five hundredths of less rejection a lot, uh, of, lot of proportional defective equal to the uh, adequate quality level of the 1% or less that's set forth in the title of CF 7 CFR Parts 43. Each locomotive built on September 18, 2006 shall be tested in accordance with the section before the June 24, 2010 to ensure the locomotive is installed with such locomotives in compliance with the paragraph A of the section. Three, each remanufactured locomotive is um, determined to pursuant to statute 229 at five of this section part um, of this uh, of this part, but should test in accordance with the section to ensure the horn is installed with each of such locomotives in compliance with the paragraph A. All right, four one. Except for the right in paragraph four, B four two, the section of each of the locomotive the equipped with the replacement locomotive the horn shall be tested in accordance with the paragraph C of the sections before the next two annual testing required in the section two twenty nine twenty seven for the part of the compl located are completed. Locomotives are ready to be tested individually through the acceptance sampling in accordance with the paragraph B one B two B three of this section shall be not required and under the sound level testing equipped with the replacement locomotive the horn provided with the replacement locomotive the horn the same model as the locomotive the horn was replaced in the mounting location type of the mounting are the same testing local of horn sound level should be in accordance with the following requirements. Properly calibrated sound level me me meters shall be used in a minute. Minimum de compliance with the requirements of the Internal Electrotechnical Commission, IEC, uh, IEC standard 616-721-2002-05, Class 2 instru uh, instrument. An acoustic, an acoustic calibration shall be used for the minimum, the compl minimum compliance with the requirements of the IEC standard 60942-1997-11 Class 2 instrument. The manufacturer instruction pertaining to the mounting orientation microphone position of the observer of the periodic factory can recalibration shall be followed. The microphone widescreen shall be used for the tripod. Similar microphone mounting shall be the use of the minimum interference with the sound being measured. The test site shall be free of large reflective structures such as barriers, hut hills, billboards, truck, tra tractor trailers, or or other large vehicles, locomotive, the railway cars, adjacent tracks, um, bridges, buildings within 200 feet of the front side of the locomotive. The locomotive shall be positioned on a straight level track. Measurements shall be taken only with the ambient temperature is between 32 degrees and 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees, and exclusively relatively humidity between 20% and 95%. Inclusively, wind velocity is not more than 12 miles per hour. There is no precipitation. With the exemption of the cab mounting low, the low mounted horn, the microphone shall be located with 100 feet forward with the front knuckle of the locomotive, the 15 above the top of the rail, and, and it's not angle of 20 greater than 20 degrees from the center line of the track oriented with respect to the sound source according to the manufacturer's recommendation for the cab mounted the locomotive low mounted horns the microphone shall be 100 feet forward with the front knuckle of the locomotive four feet above the top of the rail at the angle of the ground greater than 20 degrees from the center line of the track um or Oriented with respect to the sound source, according to the manufacturer recommendation, the observer shall not be observer shall stand between the microphone and the horn. Background noise shall be minimal. The sound level of the test site immediately before and each of the, each of the horn sounding event shall be at least ten decibel below the level sound during the horn sounding. Now, measurement procedure. The sound level of the meter shall be set with the way waiting the slow exponential response that shall be calibrated with the acoustic calibrator immediately before the after compliance. Any change in therefore, but after the calibration level shall be less than five tenths of the decimal. After the output of the locomotive horn system has reached a stable level, the, the A weighted equivalent sound level slow response to the 10 second duration of the LEE. LA equals 10, 10 seconds shall be obtained either the direct, directly using the integrated of averaging sound level made a record once per second calibrated indirectly in the arithmetic average of a series of at at least six such as 10 second duration readings such shall be used to determine the compliance and standard deviation of the reading shall be less than one half of 1.5 decibels. 
Written reports of the locomotive of the horn testing required with the part shall be made with the reflection of the horn type of the debate in place of the manner of the testing sound level measurement. These reports shall be signed by the person performing the test shall be the retained with the railroad at the location of the chief or the subsequent location of the horn testing completed with it shall be available upon request of the AFRA provided with the Title 49 U.S. Standard Code 20107. Section does not apply to locomotives on rapid transit operation which are otherwise subject to the part. All right, 229-131, Sanders. Um, proud of the depart departure of the initial and terminal uh, ex ex for the locomotive step with the multiple unit locomotive shall be equipped with the E-operative the standard of the deposit of each sand of each of the rail in front of the first of the power operated wheel and set and in the direction of the movement shall be handled in accordance with the tent requirements of contained in statute 229-9. Locomotive being used in a road trip with Sanders that become inoperative though after the departure for the initial terminal shall be handled in according with the following. Lead locomotive being used on a road service that experienced an inoperative standards after the departure from the initial terminal may continue in service until the earliest of the following occurrence of the arrival of the next internal initial terminal of uh, arrival location where it is placed in the facility when, with a sand delivery system the next periodic inspection under the statute 229-23. 14 calendar days from the date of standards are first discovered to be inoperative and a trailing locomotive may be used in road service that experienced inoperative standards after the departure from an in initial terminal may continue in service until the earliest of the following occurrences. One arrival of the next inter in, in initial terminal arrival at the location where it is placed in the facility with a sand delivery system. The next period of inspection under statute 229-23. The locomotive being used as switching service shall be equipped with the operating standard to deposit the sand on each rail in front of the first flowered operated wheel set in the direction of the movement. If the standards become inoperative, the locomotive shall be handled in accordance with the following. The locomotive being used in the switching service the direction at a location not equipped with the sand delivery system may continue the service of the system with seven calendar days from the day of the standards are first discovered and inoperative until the next periodic inspection. Inspection under statute 229.23, whichever occurs first. Locomotive being used in switch over to the location equipped with the sand delivery system shall be handled with accordance with the requirements contained in statute 229.9. Locomotive being handled under the provision contained with the paragraph B, C, B and C1 of the section shall be tagged in accordance with the statute 229.9A. All right, 229-133, interim locomotive with continuous measurement auxiliary external lights. Locomotive with the head of the train and other movement is authorized to equip the auxiliary lights additional with the headlight required with the statute 229-125 for the purpose to improve the conspicuous of the locomotive uh, that is equipped with auxiliary external lights with the conformance with the specification and performance standard set with the paragraph B of the section of the day of the insurance for the final rule that requires additional other external lights for the locomotive for improper improved conspicuousity as required by section 202U of the Federal Railroad of Safety Act of 1970 shall be deemed to conform to the requirements of the final rule for the four years following the date of this issuance of the final rule. Be each of the qualify qualifying arrangements external lights shall be conformed with one of the following descriptions. One, a strobe light, strobe light shall be consist of two light strobe stroboscopic lights, each with effective intensity as defined illuminating engineer society guide with the calculating effective intensity flashing signal lights November 1964 of at least 500 candela. Flash rate of the strobe lights shall be meet, shall be at least 45 flashes per minute and at most 180 flashes per minute. Strobe lights shall be placed at front of the locomotive at least 40 inches apart and at least 36 inches above the top rail. Oscillating light. An oscillating light shall consist of a one steadily burning white light producing 200,000 candela and a moving beam that depicts the circle on the horizontal figure 8 of the in front of the above the longitudinal center line of the locomotive. Two more white lights producing at least 200,000 candelas at each of the locations with the front of the locomotive with the flash alternating with the beam to the first to five degrees horizontally to either side of the longitudinal center line of the locomotive. An oscillation light may incorporate the device automatically extinguishing the white light and if the display of the light and other color is required to protect the safety and railroad operation. Three crossing light. Crossing light shall consist of two white lights placed in at the front of the locomotive at least 36 inches above the top of the rail. Crossing light shall be spaced at, the ver at least 36 inches apart of the vertical distance between from the headlight and the horizontal axis of the ditch lights is in 60 inches or more. Crossing light shall be spaced at at least 60 inches apart of the vertical distance of the headlight and the horizontal axis of the ditch lights is less than 60 inches. Each crossing light shall produce at least 200,000 candelas, either steadily burning, alternatively flashing flash ray of the crossing lights that should be at least 40 flashes per minute and most 80, 180 flashes per minute. Six crossing lights shall be focused horizontally within 15 degrees of the longitudinal center line of the locomotive. Four, the oscillating light and oscillating light shall consist of one steady burning light, white light, and at least 200,000 candelas in the moving between be beam that depicts the circle of the horizontal figure eight in the front of the lo longitudinal center of the locomotive. B 
Um, two or more white lights producing at least 200,000 candles each with one location in front of the locomotive with the flashing alternative with a beam of the 5 degrees horizontal to either side of the locomotive. Center line of the locomotive oscillating light may incorporate the device to automatically extinguish the white light that color and light in the display and another color is required to protect the safety and railroad operations. Any leading lo locomotive that equipped with the oscillating lights described in the paragraph B2 of the section will order the installation on the locomotive prior to January 1st, 1996, considered in compliance with the Jan um, 2 Statute 229-125-D1-3. through Any lead locomotive equipped with the strobe light described in paragraph B1 of the operator with a speed no greater than 40 miles per hour is considered in compliance with the Statute 229-125-D1-3 through D3 until locomotive is retired or rebuilt, whichever comes first. Any lead locomotive equipped with two white light auxiliary space and at least 44 inches apart with at least one uh, axis, which is equipped with white. these auxiliary lights may, before May 30, 1994, will be considered in compliance with the statute 229 125 D1-3 until the locomotive is retired and rebuilt, which ever comes first. 229-135 event record is duty to equip the record except this provided in the paragraph C and D of the section of the train operated faster than 30 miles an hour shall have a uh, in-service event record of the type of the described in paragraph B of the section of the lead locomotive with the presence of the event recorder shall be noted with the form FRA 618049A of the providing of the make the model of the event with the recorder which the locomotive is equipped with the under the remark section except for the event recorder is designed to allow the uh, locomotive to assume the lead position only if the recorder is to... Um, is properly f functioning not required to have the presence noted on the form FRA 61849A. The purpose of the section of the train includes the locomotive or the group of locomotives with or without cars. Duty of the equipped lead locomotive um, may be met with the event recorder located elsewhere with the lead locomotive provided that the such event in the record mounted or is recorded the recorded data as though it were located the lead locomotive. The event recorder shall record at least mo the most 48 hours of the electrical system of the type of the locomotive on which it is installed. Equipment requirements. The event recorder shall monitor record data of the elements required for the paragraph. At least the accuracy required of the indicator displaying any of these requirement required elements to the engineer. A lead, a lead locomotive originally dis um, d um, or or ordered before October 1st, 2006 of the um, place and in service uh, before October 1st, 2009 included the control remote distributed power locomotive. The lead man helped the locomotive the dead multiple unit locomotive and the multiple unit locomotive except this provided in paragraph C and D of this section shall have the int in, in, in service event recorded with the records file the data elements. Train speed, selected direction, motion time, distance, throttle, and position, application, and operation of the train, automatic air brakes, application, and operation of the independent brake, application of the operation of the dynamic brake, if so equipped. Nine cap signal aspects, if so equipped, if any used to. A locomotive originally manufactured up before October 1st, 2006, and um, equipped with the event recorder using the magnetic tape is recording. The me medium shall have the record removed from the surface of the honor before October 1st, 2009, replaced with an event recorder that, that certified a crashworthiness event rec record me memory module that meets the requirements of Appendix D of the part that records at least the same number of the data elements as recorded in its place. A lead locomotive, a lead man, helper locomotive, the control of remotely distributed power locomotive, the other than dead man, multiple unit and multiple unit locomotive, originally ordered on or after October 1st, 2006, placed in service on or after October 1st, 2009, shall be equipped with the event a recorder within a certified crashworthy event record memory module that meets the requirements of Appendix D of this part. The certified event recorder memory should be mounted for its maximum protection, although other mounting standards may be met. Standard event record memory module mounted behind and below the top of the collision pose of the above the platform level of the team to be mounted for the maximum protection the event record shall record and the certified crash for the event record module memory module shall retain the following data elements train speed selected direction motion time distance throttle position application and operation train automatic brakes including emergency application of the system shall record the provided the means of determining the brake application release results of manipulation brake controls of the position Normally occupied with the locomotive engineer in case of the brake application release of the responsive to a command origination from the executed by onboard computer system electronic braking system control and locomotive electronic control system train control part computer in the system shall record and provide the means of determining the involvement of each of involving involvement of any of the any such computer. 
All right, seven application for the operation independent brake. Eight um, application for the operation of the dynamic brake if equipped. Nine the um, cab signal aspects if equipped. Then use at the end end of the train device loss with communication front with the rear and rear of the front. Electronic control pneumatic braking system passage and loss. The such message if so equipped. The end of the train alarm emergency brake command the emergency brake application. <sighs> 13, indication end of the train valve failure, and 14, end of the train brake pipe pressure, um, and ECP device, and 15, end of the train marker, marker of light on and off, end of the train low battery status, um, 17, position on and off switches, headlights on lead, lead locomotive, 18, position on and off of the switch of the auxiliary lights on lead locomotive, 19, horn and control handle, Activation 20 locomotive number 20, 21 locomotive automatic brake valve cut in 22 locomotive position consisting of leader trail 23 the track of effort 24 cruise control on or off if used and equipped in use and use 25 safety critical train control data required rather than locomotive engineer display with it which with the engineers required to comply with specifically include the text message conveying the mandatory directives and maximum authorized speed the format content proposed duration retention such data shall be specified in the production product safety plan with the PTC safety plan submitted by the, the train control system under pro, subparts H1, H, and or I, respectively, the parts 236 of the chapter, subset, except the FRA approval under the paragraphs, and if it cannot be calibrated against other data required by, the, by this part, such as the train control data and an election of the data is retained in separate can certify crashworthy memory module. The dead multiple unit locomotive with the multiple unit locomotive originally ordered the honor after October 1st, 2007 placed in service show over the October 1st, 2009 shall be equipped with an event recorder with a certified crash for the event recorder. Record memory module that meets the requirements of Appendix D of this part. The certified event record memory module shall be mounted down for the maximum protection, although and other mounting standards they may meet. The standard event of the recorder memory module mounted behind the collision post above, above the platform level is deemed to be mounted for the maximum protection. The event record shall record the certified crash where the event record memory module shall retain the following data elements. Train speed, selected direction, motion time, distance, throttle position, application, operation, train, automatic, and air brakes, emergency application. System that shall record the provided means of determining the brake application release result the manipulation brake control with position normal occupied by the locomotive engineer in the case of the brake application release the responsive computer and originating from the executed by the onboard control computer electronic braking system control locomotive electronic control system um, the train control computer the system shall record and provide the means of determining the involvement of any such a, a computer. <sighs> Application operation of the independent brake, if so equipped, the application operation of the dynamic brake, if so equipped, cab signal aspect, if so equipped, then use emergency brake applications, wheel slip, slide alarm, activation, properly specific minimum, duration, 12, lead locomotive headlight activation, switch on and off, 13, lead locomotive auxiliary light activation, switch on and off, 14, horns control handle activation, 15, locomotive number, locomotive position, consistent lead of the trail, 17, tractive efforts, 18, brake applied, summary train, line, 19 brakes release summary train line cruise control on or off is so equipped to use uh, not 21 Safety critical train control date, date data routed with the locomotive engineer display with which the engineer required to comply with specifically included the text message conveying the mandatory directive the maximum authorized speed, the format, the content, the proposed duration, the retention. Such data shall be specified in the product safety plan or the PTC safety plan submitted by the train control system under the subpart H1 and 1 respectively of the part 236 chapter subject to the FRA approval under the paragraph that if they can be calibrated against other data required by the parts, such as control data, the data may election of the railroad retained with a separate specified crashworthy memory module. Five of a locomotive equipped the event recorded this remanufactured defi defined as part on the after f October 1st, 2007 shall be equipped with an event recorded with a certified crash for the event recorded me memory module that meets the requirements of Appendix D of the part with the act capable of recording minimum of the same data re as recorded with it was in locomotive the four that was remanufactured. All right, six, an event recorder originally manufactured after June, January 1st, 2010 that is installed in any locomotive in the paragraph B1 of the section B, the event recorder with the certified crash for the event recorder memory with the module to meet the requirements for the appendix D with this part. This is capable of recording at a minimum the same data of the event recorder that was previously on the locomotive.
All right, C, removal from service. Notwithstanding the duty established for the paragraph A of the section equipped with a certain local members within any service of the event recorded of the railroad may remove that event recorded for the service. If the railroad knows the event of the recorder it is not monitoring with the recorder required, the data shall be removed with the event recorded from the service when the railroad removes the event recorded from the service. The qualified wide person shall record the date of the device that was removed from the service on... Forms FRA 651-8049A with the remarks section unless the event recorder is designed to allow the locomotive to assume the lead position only if the recorder is properly functioning. Response to defective equipment now chain with the duty established in paragraph A of the section is equipped to certain locomotive for the insert of the event record or recorded locomotive on which the event recorder has been taken insert with the provided with the paragraph C but the section remains at lead locomotive only until the next calendar day inspection locomotive with an operative event record but then is not deemed in probable condition unsafe operating non commodal locomotive under statute 2297 and 229 other the requirements of penalty of this part inspection maintenance and testing event of the records are limited to the requirements set forth in statute 229 25 E and 2 27D. Preserving accident data. Um, if any of the locomotive equipped with an event with a recorder and any other locomotive mounted with the recording device, the device designed with the recorded information concerning the function of the locomotive, the train involved with any accidents, incidents for that required to be reported with the FRA under the Part 225 of the trap the railroad was using, the locomotive at the time of the accident shall be accepted the possibility of accident consistently with the safety of the life of the property preserved with data recorded by each such device for the analysis of the FRA with the preservation requirements permits the railroad to extract and analyze such data provided with the original download data file and unanalyzed exact copy of it shall be retained in secure custody. It shall not be utilized for analysis or any other purpose except for the direction of the FRA National Transportation Safety Board. The preservation requirement shall expire one year after the date of the accident unless the FRA and board notify the railroad in writing that the data are desired for the analysis. F relationship to other laws, nothing in this section is intended to alter. Legal authority, law enforcement, investigation, potential violations, state criminal laws, and nothing in the chapter is intended to alter any way with the priority of the National Transportation Safety Board investigation under the Title 40 and U.S. Standard Code 1131 and 1134. No, uh, no authority of the Secretary of Transportation investigating railroad accidents under Title 49, U.S. Standard Code 5121, 5122, this <sighs> disabling event recorders except this providing paragraph C of this section. Any individual who willfully dis disables an event recorder is subject to a civil penalty and disqualification performing safety standard as it a function on the railroad as provided in the statute 2 to 1855 of the chapter. Any individual who tampers or alters the data required by sufficient such device and subject to the civil penalty is provided in the appendix B of the part 8 to 18 of the chapter according and disqualification from the performing safety standards of the functions on the railroad is found unfit with such duties on a procedure in part 209 of this chapter. All right, continuing with 229.137, the sanitation general requirements, sanitation, sanitary compartments, except for by paragraph B of this section, all the lead locomotives to use shall be equipped with the sanitation compartment. Each sanitation compartment shall be adequately ventilated, equipped with a door, with a door that closes and possesses a modest D-lock with an 18, 18 months after publication of the final rule, equipped with the toilet facility as defined in this part, equipped with the washing um, system as defined in this part, unless the railroad otherwise provided the washing system employees upon the reporting of the duty occupying the cab of the duty, the locomotive is equipped with the station thing that's located outside the station, station sanitation compartment. Equipped with the toilet paper in sufficient quantity to meet the employee needs unless unless the railroad otherwise provides toilet paper to the employees upon reporting the duty occupying the cab for the duty equipped for the trash receptacle unless the railroad otherwise provides the portable trash receptacles to employee upon reporting for the duty and unoccupying the cab of the duty. Exemptions paragraph 1a through um, paragraph 1 paragraph a through this section shall not apply Locomotives engaged with a computer service other than short haul passengers serve the computer work with a transition Which the employees have readily accepted the railroad provided with the sanitation facilities outside of the train Outside of the locomotives elsewhere on the train that meet the otherwise applicable and sanitation standards that are frequently intervals during the course of their wor wor work shift Locomotives engaged with a switching service on which the employees have the ready access to the railroad provided with the sanitation facilities outside of the locomotive that meet the otherwise applicable sanitation standards frequent inter intervals during the course of their work. Three, locomotives engaged in the transfer of the surfaces of the employees have ready access to the railroad provided with the sanitation facilities outside of the locomotive to meet the otherwise applicable sanitation standards frequent intervals during the course of their work uh, shift. Four, locomotives of the Class Three railroads to, um, engaged with the operation other than switching services to transfer stations that are not equipped with the sanitation compartments uh, uh, as in June 30th, 2002. 
June 3rd, 2002, where unequipped locomotive of the Class 3 of the railroad is engaged in an operation other than switching the transfer so that the employees shall have the ready access to the railroad provided with the sanitation facilities outside of the locomotive that meet the otherwise applicable sanitation standards at frequent intervals during the course of their work shift that other railroads shall arrange the route access to such facilities. Five locomotive and tour scenic or historic excursion railroad operations, which are otherwise covered by the part because they are not properly, they are not propelled by steam power operating on a generally railroad system of the transportation, but on which the employees have ready to access the railroad provided sanitation facilities outside the locomotive that meet the otherwise application sanitation standards frequent intervals during the scores of their work shift. Six, except for the provided in the statute 229.14, this part of the dead mo multiple unit, multiple unit control cab locomotive is designed with the passenger occupancy of the interface, inner city of the push pull so that they are not equipped with a sanitation facility where the employees have ready access to the railroad provided with the sanitation and other passenger cars of the train at frequent intervals during the course of the work shift. Two, paragraph A. Um, three of this section shall not apply. One, locomotive of the Class 1 railroad prior to the effect of the day of this section were equipped with a toilet facility in which human waste falls with the gravity of the holding tank where it is stored periodically empty, which does not conform with the definition of the toilet facility set forth in the section for these locomotives. The requirements of the section pertaining to this type of the toilet facility required shall be effective with these toilets and become defective with RN replacement conforming units, but whichever that occurs the first, all of the requirements set forth in this section shall apply to these locomotives as is June 30th to June 30th. 2002. Two, with the respective locomotive of the Class 1 railroad with the prior June 30, 2002, we were equipped with the sanitary station other than the units addressed in paragraph B21 of the section contained to remove the human waste by method of, but that does not conform to the definition of the toilet facilities as set forth in the section. Requirements of the section pertaining to the type of the toilet facility shall apply with locomotives in use of January 1, 2003. However, the Class 1 railroad subject from the exemption shall not be delivered to the locomotives in which the sanitation system to other railroads for the use of lead position during the time of the, between June 3rd and 2002 and June 1st, 2003. Other requirements set forth in this section shall apply with locomotive in the Class 1 railroad as, as is June 3rd, 2002. The effective unsanitary toilet facility prohibition lead position except that is provided in paragraph C1 through. Five of this section, if the railroad determines that during the daily inspection required of the statute 22921 locomotive toilet facilities defective in the unsanitary area, both of the railroad shall not use the locomotive in the lead position. The railroad may continue to use the lead locomotive with the toilet facility if the defective unsanitary area adds the daily inspection only where all the following conditions are met. The unsanitary defective condition is discovered location where there is no other suitable locomotives available for use, where there is not possible to switch another locomotive into the lead position and location not equipped with clean sanitation compartment and unsanitary repair for the toilet facility is defective. If the locomotive is not compliant, did not pass through the location where it could have been cleaned. If an unsanitary repair is defective and switched and another compliant with locomotive since the last daily inspection required of this part. Upon, for three, upon reasonable request of the locomotive, the crew member operating the locomotive with the defective and unsanitary toilet facility, the railroad arranges the access to the toilet facility outside the locomotive that meets the otherwise applicable sanitation standards. For if the sanitation compartment is unsanitary, the sanitation compartment door shall be closed and the adequate with the ventilation shall be provided in the cab so that it is habitable. Um, the locomotive shall not continue with the service of the lead position beyond the locomotion where the defective and unsanitary conditions can be corrected and replaced with another complaint locomotive in the next daily inspection required by this board or whichever occurs first. RD, defective unsanitary toilet facility used in trailing position. Railroad determines during the daily inspection required statute 221, 229, 21. The locomotive of the toilet facility is defective and unsanitary. Both the railroad may use the locomotive trailing position. If the railroad places the locomotive in the trailing position, they shall not haul the employees in the, in the unit unless the sanitary compartment is made sanitary. Prior to the occupancy of the toilet facility, the defective the unit becomes occupied. The railroad shall clearly mark the defective toilet as an unavailable for use. All right. Defective sanitary toilet facility use of the switching transfer service. If the railroad determined that during the daily inspection required in the statute 229.21, the locomotive toilet facility is defective but sanitary, but the railroad may use the locomotive and switching service as set forth in paragraph B12. The section for transfer service is set forth in paragraph B13. Of the section period not exceeding 10 days in the instance of the railroad shall clearly mark the effect defective toilet facility as unavailable for use after expiration date of 10-day period for the locomotive shall be repaired and used for the trailing position. 
All right, F, lack, lack of toilet paper washing system trash, trash receptacle. If the railroad determined that during the daily inspection required of the SAS G229, but the lead locomotive is not equipped with the toilet paper in sufficient quantity to meet the employee needs, the washing system is required in paragraph A4 of this section. Trash receptacle is required with paragraph A6 of this second. Um, section locomotive shall be equipped with these items prior to the departure. Inadequate. The ventilation. If the railroad determined that during the daily inspection required in the statute 229, the sanitation compartment as lead locomotive and the use not adequately ventilated is required in paragraph A1 of the section, the railroad shall repair the ventilation prior to the departure, replace the locomotive in the trailing position in which service, service is set forth in paragraph B12 of the section, the transfer service is set forth in paragraph B13 of the section. H. The door closes modest and modesty lock. If the railroad determines that during the daily inspection required in the statute 22921, the sanitation compartment on the lead locomotive is not equipped with the door that closes as required in paragraph A21 of the section, the railroad should repair the door prior to the departure, placing the locomotive in the trailing position, switching service. So forth in paragraph B12 of the section, and transfer services as. Set forth in paragraph B13 of this section of the railroad determined the daily inspection required with the patch 229-21 modesty lock required in the areas A2, to A2, to A22 section defective modesty lock shall be required pursuant to the requirements of the patch 229-139-E. Equipped units, retention and maintenance. Except for that, the railroad um, down, downgrades the locomotive to serve in which the, it will never be occupied where the locomotive is equipped with the toilet facility as defective the date of the final rule. The railroad shall retain, maintain a toilet facility in the locomotive consistent with the requirements of the part and will include the locomotive to use in the switching service of the purpose under paragraph B21, B12 of the section and transfer service to pursue under paragraph B13 of the section. J. Newly manufactured units in cab facilities. All locomotives manufactured after June 3rd, 2002, except the switching units built and exclusively for switching services. Locomotives built with exclusively for the commuter services shall be equipped with a sanitary compartment accessible to cab employees where the out, out existing to the outdoors for the use. The non railroad may use the locomotive built after June 3rd, 2002 that does not comply with that with the subsection. Um. K. Potable water. The railroad shall utilize the potable water where the washing system includes the use of water. All right, 229-139, sanitation servicing requirements. The, lead, the sanitation compartment, each lead locomotive that is used shall be sanitary. The call components required with the statute, 229-137A. Lead locomotive is shall be present with the consistent with the requirements of this part and shall operate as intended such, a, such that all mechanical systems shall function. Water shall be present in the sufficient quantity to permit the flushing for those systems that utilize chemical for the treatment with chemical chlorine or other capable, bearable oxidizing agent using treatment waste must be present, present and Non-blockable in presenting the prevent of waste for the executing bowl of the sanitation compartment beach for each occupied locomotive using the switching service pursuant to statute 229-137-B212, the transfer service pursuant to 229-137-B13, or in the trailing position when the locomotive is occupied with the san um, sanitary. With the railroad use the locomotive pursuant to statute 229-137-E and its switching transfer service to the effective toilet facility, such uh, such use shall not extend 10 calendar days from the date of which the defective toilet facility became defective. The date on which the toilet facility becomes defective shall be reported entered on the daily inspection report. Um, where it is determined that the modesty lock required in statute 229-137-A2, the defect of the railroad shall repair the modesty lock on or before the next 92-day inspection required by this part. And then I'm going to pause it and check how long this is like, actually. 